Good morning, everyone. I'm Arya Iran, and I'm going to talk about my project, my summer internship project. So basically, in this project, we are trying to propose a new training algorithm for larger scale uh, machine learning, uh, and we are trying to improve the scalability of support vector machine algorithms, which is one of the most successful classification algorithms. Uh, this project is advised by Xiao Chen, and uh, uh, I'm a PhD student in uh, EC department, and I'm working on machine learning problems. So this is my outline. I'm, I'm going to give a uh, quick introduction and go over my method and final experiment. So what, why we are doing this? The first and most important reason is larger scale machine learning. Thanks to next generation sequencing, we, we're having uh, larger, larger genomic data sets. Also, uh, there are uh, very large clinical data sets. Uh, for example, serial data set contains over 8 million of records of patients over a long period of time. The other reason we would like to do this project because uh, uh, most of current SVM solvers are not good for polyism. Uh, their algorithm is inherently sequential. Uh, the, the next reason we would like to do this, uh, we, we want to implement online learning algorithm in, this, in our solver to, uh, to capture the change in distribution of data because learning is a lifelong process and the distribution of data change, response to the right change, and uh, we would like to uh, adapt our training algorithm accordingly. Uh, the other reason uh, is that with online learning, we, we, we are able to uh, train uh, very large data sets. In, in theory, we can train infinite size data sets by uh, training using mini bags. So instead of processing whole data sets at once, we just fetch mini bags by mini bags and train them and go, uh, go forward. Also, uh, the other motivation is to uh, to train uh, our solver using semi-supervised paradigm. It, this is a new paradigm of learning that uh, mm, we can use partial label, label data sets. So this is because the label data is expensive and noisy because some experts should sit and label our samples and then uh, put it to training algorithm. Uh, we can use uh, this paradigm to train larger data sets and you know, cheaper data sets. So ex existing SVM solvers, these are the, the three state-of-the-art solvers that, uh, based off their uh, characteristic, I uh, um, show them. The LibSVM is the most famous. Uh, it's not online. It's not good for polyism. Uh, it's, uh, it can train nonlinear decision functions, and uh, it's good for uh, data sets up to 100,000 of samples. Uh, other solvers are liblinear, which, which is uh, the linear version of LibSVM, which is good for up to 1 million, maybe. And Pegasus is also an uh, online learning solver, and uh, it's not linear. For, so when we are using LibLinear and Pegasus, we are assuming that data is linearly separable. So, uh, and in this, uh, in this project, we would like to propose SANS solver to uh, solve these issues. So in short, uh, uh, the SANS tries to uh, formulate the uh, objective function uh, as a mathematical optimization problem and solve it in the primal and we solve it uh, approximately to, to be able to trade off between uh, uh, accuracy and time. This is, a, this is very important. Also, we use Newton's method to uh, optimize this objective function. Newton's method is really good for polyism because it contains, it uh, involves matrix computation. Also, we use uh, a Huber loss function, which is a, uh, which leads to very sparse solution, which is, uh, again, efficient way to do it. Also, we having implement by Newton method, we, we can uh, parallelize on different 
uh, parallel computing platforms. And also, we implement uh, online learning uh, in this solver and try to learn from Minibatch. So what, what are support vector machines? In, the idea is quite simple. If you, if you were to classify the two classes, and we have uh, plenty of choices, the best one, uh, the best uh, separating line would be the line with the largest margin. So the right picture is a support vector machine with, uh, which the solid uh, uh, circle and uh, squares are support vectors. And uh, in the simplest form, the decision function is a line uh, with parameters W and B. And uh, finding the best, uh, the optimal separating hyperplane is equivalent to solving this optimization problem, which uh, involves this, uh, the, the phi. And phi is a loss function, which is really critical in characteristic of the solution. And we can change, use different loss functions to uh, find different solutions, a sparser or uh, smoother solution. Uh, so as I said, we uh, try to optimize uh, approximately with just trying to get the iteration to uh, have a solution in a limited amount of time. Also, Newton's method, uh, it's an optimization algorithm that in each iteration, it solves a linear system. So if we have n samples, we would, uh, we would solving uh, n by n linear solvent in each iteration. And these are the last functions. The, uh, the, the left one is modified least square last function, which the shaded area is the area that uh, determines the support vectors, number of support vectors. And the, uh, as you see, the right one, the, the, uh, the shaded area is quite small, so it pr produces a less much less support vectors than modified least squares last function. So implementing the Huber last function, we would have much smaller linear solvers. And uh, since the computation costs for solving uh, linear systems are cubic, uh, we would get a speed up as uh, the data set is getting larger. And the online learning is really important because uh, we, 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 uh, we are limited uh, in, in terms of data sets. We would like to train the data sets by minibags. And uh, by doing this, we can uh, process the data, arbitrarily sized data sets. And uh, um, we can also capture the trends in data by doing this, this process and process a, a stream data. And we also use uh, large mini batch to do to be able to do parallelism in each iteration. So Newton's method is basically just uh, a computational uh, efforts in each iteration is just dot product, matrix inversion, and uh, uh, matrix vector computation, which are uh, really good for parallelism. Also, it converges. Uh, a le uh, few number of iteration compared to gradient descent, is, which is hundreds, or stochastic gradient descent, which is thousands of iterations. So there's less, in de uh, less dependency between iterations. Uh, and uh, we, we use large mini batch to, uh, to, be ex to be able to exploit the parallelism. Uh, also, uh, at first, I tried to implement it in MATLAB to get some result and verify my method and see how it works. I just uh, uh, implemented in MATLAB and uh, tried some toy data sets to see how it works. It, the G50C is a, a synthetic data set that uh, uh, data set is overlap is not good for linear methods. And uh, the error rates are comparable to a state of the art solvers. Also, the news group is a sparse data set, uh, which is, again, the error rate is comparable. Uh, also, I'm planning to implement it in C++. I've already implemented in C++ in for batch mode, single core and multi core. And next step would be implemented for online learning, mini batch training, and parallel computing. And finally, I would like to extend it to semi-supervised semi learning. So in short, uh, the, the proposed support vector solvers 
try to solve its objective approximately to trade off time and accuracy and give a solution in limited time. Also, we use Huber loss to, uh, to find sparse solution and f uh, solve a so, uh, smaller linear system. Also, uh, Sun uh, can, can uh, do parallelism because it used new Newton method and uh, used large mini batch in, in each iteration. Also, uh, using online learning, we can uh, uh, capture the trends in data. And the future works uh, would be uh, applying it to uh, very large data sets and temporal data sets such as zero data and uh, other parallel computing platforms, semi-supervised learning, and finally, we'd like to propose a private version of this SVM solver. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Xiaoqian and Shuang for their constructive comments and feedbacks, and also I-DBMI and NIH for giving this chance to do this project. Thank you all, and uh, any questions? Since we are, the data sets are getting larger and larger, uh, the, and the current SVM solvers are limited to hundreds, to hundreds of thousands of samples, we cannot process the data sets such as tiers or uh, larger data sets to capture a more complex relationship between labels and uh, things. So many algorithms, many tasks require sample complexity of uh, n cubic for, uh, for for some amount of error, so in order to reach some accuracy, we need more more than one million samples, and uh, this gives gives us a flexibility to do it and learn a nonlinear decision function, because uh, because the current larger scale SVM solvers are almost linear, and uh, we are by using them we are assuming that they are linearly separable, uh, so. By doing this project, we, we can process the data sets of infinite size. We can uh, grab uh, mini batch and do incremental training of data sets. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, the question is, uh, are the other solvers can able to capture temporal trends? There are, there are some online SVM solvers, but uh, uh, the online SVM solvers are all, are all linear. There's no uh, large scale online nonlinear SVM solvers. So there either uh, these are state of the art, the only online solver uh, the, the best one is uh, Pegasus, which is linear. If you are using Pegasus, we are assuming the data is linearly separable, which is not good for uh, many uh, tasks. Thanks.